Hey guys, this is Mr. Weber again, and I am here to give you a quick uh, update on how to play Au Claire de la Lune. So this song uh, uses the same three notes as the uh, previous two songs that we worked on. Uh, I just reverse the order, so G, A, and B. Step one, I'm just going to go through and quick write in the note names. So you can do this too if you want. G, 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 A, B, A. Then we got G, B, A, A, G. Okay, the nice thing about this song is the second half is the same exact thing as the first half. So we have G, 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 A, B, A, then G, B, A, A, G. All right, so I've written in my notes. Uh, if you want, you could pause right here and practice a whole bunch and then click play and then keep going. Remember, G is going to have the thumb on the back. Actually, all three notes have the thumb on the back the whole time. So I'm squeezing out hard. Then one, two, three is G. Okay. A is thumb one, two. B is thumb one. So here's the first two measures. Then the next two measures. And the next two measures. Now the last two measures. Okay, so you practice that a bunch. And then we're going to go to the recording with the drum beat. And now we're going to see if we can play along with the drum beat. So see if you can play with me. And here we go. And there it is. I <laughs> clicked it wrong at the end. So uh, practice this. See if you can get a little bit better each time. And that's it. That is all Claire de la Luna. Remember, if you want, pause this and practice. I've already written them in for you. Or better yet, write in yourself. The music is in our Google Classroom. You can write it in. And that would be awesome.